Hi, welcome to my Mad Science Science Experiment. Today I'm going to do the Milky Way Experiment. It's a really easy experiment to do. You don't need a lot of materials. Um, the one thing you want is a work tray or a work area. So if you make a mess, it's not too bad. Um, you need some milk. There's my milk in there. Some dish soap, Q-tips, food coloring, and then you need a bowl. I'm actually using a pie plate, and that's because it's got a larger um, area, so when I pour my milk, my milk will spread out a little bit more, and it's clear so I can kind of see through it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour my milk into my plate, and I want to make sure that I pour enough milk to cover the bottom of the, the plate. Mm -hmm. Using milk that is room temperature is really the best, so I've got my milk in there. All right, so then I want to go ahead and make a prediction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have some food coloring. I've got some food coloring here, and I'm going to drop some food coloring in here. And I want to think about what's going to happen when I add the food coloring to the milk. Is anything going to happen? So I'm going to go ahead and take my food coloring out of my box here, and I'm going to go ahead and put a drop in separate areas of the milk. So let me start with the yellow. Oops, I dropped some yellow here, so I'll go ahead and put a drop, a couple drops there. And so hopefully you made a prediction. Ooh, okay, I better hurry up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some more there. And I'm going to go ahead and drop some over here. But it's just a couple drops because I've got this larger area, so it allows me to to put at least two drops in there. All right, so hopefully you made a prediction about what is going to happen to the drops of food coloring when I put them in the, the milk. All right, so I let it sit for a minute because I wanted to see what would happen as I um, put the food coloring in there. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a drop of soap. I'm going to add a drop of soap to the middle of my um, milk. Again, making predictions, what do you think is going to happen? So I'm going to go ahead and put a couple drops of milk. Whoa! And you can see already what's happening to my milk. Hopefully you can see that. Really, really cool. Just the colors are just kind of swirling all over the place. So I'm just taking a minute to observe what's going to happen. And then what I'm going to try something else though. I can see this is really cool. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of soap here and put some in the middle of these food, this food coloring and see kind of what happens. It does move it a little bit faster. Oh, I can, and then what happens? So I just want to get crazy with my science here. I can watch it for a while, play around with it for a while. I can see what's happening as the, as the soap is moving. And then I want to just kind of, I'm going to see what happens if I move the, the soap around. What happens to the colors there? And how far will the colors go? How far will they blend? If I wait longer, do they move? Do they move further? So just kind of getting crazy with this. I just like to always be trying new things and I get different results every time I try something different. I'm using a Q-tip right now, but what happens if I used a, um, a toothpick and dipped it in some soap and then put it in my bowl? How would that change the results? Would the results be the same or would they be different? Or what if I got a straw and I tried blowing my colors? How would that affect the colors in the bowl? So as a scientist, again, you always want to be thinking. You want to be making predictions and you also want to be trying new things and see if you get the same results or if the results change. So this is a really fun experiment to do, really easy one to do at home. I hope that you try it out. So thanks for watching my video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos and bye for now.